In this video, we'll take a look at another slicer type in Excel Cube, the combo box. Firstly, I'll add a new slicer to geography, and by default, as you can see here, we have the tree view. To change it, we right click on the slicer and click edit. Then, click on the combo box in the slicer setup pane, and for a combo box, the user doesn't have the ability to navigate down the tree, so we're going to have to choose which members are available for selection, and we can do this by either picking an individual item or group of items. We could also pick one item and its related set of members, so if we pick Germany, I can pick the state province or the cities within that country. Another option is to switch to the levels menu and pick all the members at that particular level. So in this example, I'm going to pick country, and as you can see, there are currently six countries in the queue. So now I have a simple to use in cell selector listing the available countries in the cube. This list is dynamic, so when the data in the cube changes, the list of countries I see will change as well. If I go back into the edit slicer dialog, you'll see at the bottom here, we have the option to select an Excel range. For example, I can go into select cell H2, which at the moment contains Germany, and then I can pick a related set of members from there so let's choose state province. This means I will always see the set of states or provinces for the data within cell H2. Another alternative here is to choose another slicer. So if I had a second slicer that was picking a geography, I could have that drive the members in this slicer. 